30 Underground Conversion Rate Tips In this video we're going to look at the 30 tips to maximize your conversion rates by making minimal changes and additions to your current sales copy. So what's the baseline? A decent conversion rate for sales copy should be between 2 to 4 percent. But some marketers have cracked the code and produced conversion rates of 6 percent and some as high as 20 to 30 percent. If you're watching this video, I have a sneaky suspicion that your sales letters are currently not producing the kind of conversion rates you want. Headlines and subheaders. Color your headline red. The color red usually symbolizes urgency or importance. Alternatively, you can use black or text with yellow highlight in the background if red won't suit your sales copy's color theme. However, red works and can be used with almost any theme color suitable. Your headline font must be larger than the standard font used for your sales copy. Sounds simple, right? But you'd be surprised how many people still get this wrong. The purpose of your headline is to grab your prospect's attention. And usually, the headline font is one or two times larger than your standard font. Imply a benefit in the headline. And the benefit should often refer to your prospect and not you. Even if you are using another character in the headline, Make absolutely sure that it has to do with your prospect and why or how it could benefit him or her. Introduce a character in your headline. It makes your sales copy more interesting to read and in many cases, related to your prospects. For example, discover how a 24-year-old student is making 10 times more than his university professor with his online business. Your subheader serves as the hook to make your readers continue reading. The subheadline goes on to explore other benefits for your reader to continue reading, which are not shared in the headline. The subheadline is generally smaller than the headline and is often a different color. Black is a matching color for the subheadline. In short, you want to make your prospects feel that they owe it to themselves to read every line of your letter. Keep it short. As a general rule of thumb, use in between 20 to 25 words for your headline. Don't make your headline too long to read otherwise your prospect will just get bored and leave your sales page. The body. Start your copy with a story. You can immediately hook your prospect's interest by relating a fable or preferably a true story on your account. Most importantly, the story must be related to your offer. Make safe assumptions about your prospect. Because people are driven by emotion, people are predictable. And as long as you understand the majority of your prospects, you can focus in on this in your copy. For example, I have a sneaky suspicion that you're on a tight budget and have less than a few hundreds to spend on your marketing and advertising campaign. Or, chances are that you have failed in your past relationships or this is your first try at scoring a date with your dream girl. Solve a problem for your prospect. You want to qualify your prospect by telling him or her the problem he or she is facing. And then, you want to emphasize that problem. But be careful not to go overboard with exaggeration and always be truthful. Don't forget to introduce yourself. This section doesn't have to be long, but it needs to introduce you to the readers or viewers. Also, where possible, this is your opportunity to establish your authority and credibility. For example, my name is John Smith and I have been a professional golfer for the last 20 years. The middle section. This is where you get to introduce your solution to the problem via your product. You may want to show your prospect some other alternatives before moving on with your own, but yours needs to be the best or have a unique USP. Put all your benefits in bullet form. We're conditioned to pay attention to lists and there is no neater way than to set out your benefits than as bullets or short sentences coupled with graphics. Don't confuse benefits with features. Features are what your product may appear and look like. Benefits are what the product can do for your prospects good. Check out our other video that goes into this in more depth. See the link at the top of the page to that video. Don't give away your secret formula in the sales copy, just the core information. Also, don't make it easy for people to guess your contents or secret formula. Throwing in endorsements and testimonials. Use photos, full names and locations. If you can throw in a video too, do it. The videos make it more believable and relatable. 
It's easier for your customers to visualize themselves enjoying the benefits of your product if they can see someone like them already do just that. If you have a lot of testimonials, pepper them throughout your sales copy in groups of ones and twos. If they're from a variety of sources such as email or social media, then group them by those sources. If you only have few testimonials, save them for below mid-section. You may still want to save the best one or two testimonials and place them somewhere below the subheadline to encourage your prospects to read on. Make sure your testimonials are results-oriented. In short, your testimonials shouldn't be about Wow John Smith. You're great. It should be about what your product or service done to benefit the testimony. Call to action. Scarcity. Scarcity sells. But only when done correctly. Avoid using the until midnight unless you really mean that your product offer will be gone by midnight or it will damage your credibility. Time-based. This is not an open-ended offer. This sale runs for only seven days. After the seventh day is passed, this offer will expire and be removed forever. Quantity-based. Only 100 copies will be sold. No more than that. Once the 100th copy leaves the shelf, this offer will not be made available again, ever. Use fast action bonuses. Nowadays, just offering bonuses isn't enough. Especially if you're in a competitive niche. So you can add an edge by offering time-sensitive bonuses. Aside from your bonuses having to complement your primary offer, the fact that they are scarce rewards your prospect for acting now. Tighten the offer with a long-term guarantee. The longer your guarantee term, the better. Encourage your prospect to try your product out and test drive it instead of being neutral or indifferent. The foot of the copy. This is where you can summarize your offer or reveal hidden benefits. Here are some things worth summarizing. You are shouldering the risk for your prospect through your money back guarantee. It would be more expensive and costly in terms of money, time and effort if your prospect seeks other solutions or alternatives than yours. You can emphasize the fast action bonuses and how if your prospect doesn't act now, they will miss them out. Reveal other hidden benefits not mentioned earlier in your sales letter. It could be an unannounced bonus, guarantee statement or a reward for acting immediately. You can choose to reveal even more praises and testimonials. Tell your prospect that the price you're asking for is a bargain. You can do this by comparing to other possibly higher cost solutions by your competitors or less effective alternatives. For example, which one do you think is a smart thing to do? Invest $97 and find out all you need to know about making a killing in the stock market. Or flushing thousands of dollars shooting into the dark? Wrapping up. If you make these simple changes to your copy, you will not only see more prospects reading your copy, but you will also see increased sales. And that is the whole point of your copy. If you want to discover the ultimate copywriting formula, check out the link in the description to the step-by-step -step guide to create your own and award-winning sales copy you can use as your own.